So Christoph, when did you first get involved in epilepsy research and why is it important for you? Now, first, I would like to uh, welcome you to the lab. <laughs> so these are where the all setup the setups are where we are doing experiments. <laughs> Very lucky. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Um, so I got involved uh, with epilepsy when I did my postdoc in England in Southampton with uh, Professor Howard Wheel. Oh, okay. I was originally trained uh, for theoretical physics, and during my PhD, I. Uh, uh, did an approach which was both experimental and theoretical on the cerebellum. And cerebellum is interesting, but the hippocampus is more interesting. <laughs> so uh, that's where I learned uh, about this structure during my postdoc, and uh, Howard Wheel was specialized in epilepsy research. And that's when I realized that it was really important to work uh, on this disease. And so I totally reoriented my career uh, okay. to work uh, on epilepsy. Okay. Can you tell us the importance of electrophysiology in characterizing uh, epilepsy? Now, characterizing epilepsy and brain function, yes. I would say. Yeah. Um, well, there are many ways to access brain function. You can do that with imaging, but among the first uh, techniques uh, that were made available to researchers was electrophysiology. When, uh, uh, we first could record electrical signals uh, in muscles, for example. And uh, when we, we realized that neurons were uh, generating uh, electrical signals, so it was making sense to uh, look, to investigate brain function uh, recording these signals. So I was trained as an electrophysiologist, and uh, of course this is one key uh, approach for understanding brain function and dysfunction like uh, epilepsy. So electrophysiology is extremely important because it gives you a lot of uh, data. Uh, the only problem when you study brain function and dysfunction is that you don't have a conceptual framework to interpret the signals that you're recording. So that's the main difficulty. But uh, I really believe that part of the answer is in the electrophysiological signals. What's the next stage for you for developing research? Well, as always, seeing is the most important thing. So uh, the next step uh, would be to uh, be able to record the electrical activity of uh, hundreds or even thousands uh, of cells. So um, uh, optical imaging, of course, is uh, the next stage. The problem is that uh, we cannot uh, record electrical activity as it is. Uh, it's always indirect, like using calcium imaging. And the, uh, uh, the compounds that are available for uh, looking at uh, membrane potential are a bit nasty for the cells and not very good. So there's still a technological breakthrough that is needed. But the next stage uh, will be to uh, combine classical electrophysiology like patch clamp recordings or field potential recording with uh, uh, imaging a huge population of neurons and in vivo, of course, because if you want to study function, you have to do it in the intact animal. So that's the, 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 the revolution that is still uh, needed. And the other one is to be able to perform multimodal recording. So to combine uh, the recording of electrical, electrical, electrophysiological activity, sorry, and uh, molecular activity. Uh, for example, uh, uh, glucose, uh, anything that is related to metabolism, or uh, uh, ions or neurotransmitters, together with uh, electro, uh, electrophysiological activity. So this is also another revolution that is needed in the field. Okay. And these kind of ideas, will you be working on those in the long term or do you have some plans in place already to start this? So we are, um, so for the sensors, uh, voltage sensors, uh, we're not working on that, but we are working on uh, making new tools to record at the same time electrophysiological activity in vitro and in vivo and molecular activity, okay. basically any molecular activity outside and next step will be inside the cell. Okay. And particularly when you're going into in vivo uh, applications? 
Yes, well, uh, for us the uh, ultimate uh, experiment will be done uh, in epilepsy to understand uh, how a discoupling between electrical activity and molecular activity may play a role uh, in uh, epilepsy or seizure uh, genesis uh, because we still don't know the mechanisms underlying the genesis of seizures. Okay.